I'd like to show you how to use our simplified work order form we have in Digital Wrench. To do a work order, you click on the screwdriver and wrench. You click on Add Estimate Work Order. And you choose your customer, or you can add your customer here. So I'm going to choose a customer. I can just type in uh, customer right there. The second thing you're going to want to do is select the vehicle you're working on. And you can also add the vehicle here. I'll show you what the... So we selected the geo tracker you can see these customer tabs across the top and our vehicle tabs and we can enter our current odometer reading okay and we can go down here add parts now if you're adding parts from a parts supply house and you're not going to put them in inventory you can click on this add parts button you can add your parts here make sure you put in your cost and your retail so that the program can compute your profit when you do this work order okay we're going to add some parts from the list and I'm going to go to the cooling system I'm going to add a heater hose go back to the cooling system add some antifreeze that we lost now you can do the same thing on labor you can either add your labor one at a time and you can add the technician hourly rate etc or you can go to the labor list which means you're going to enter it into the program once it's going to save it and you can call it back whenever you want so I'm going to go to the heater hose renew so now I have a heater hose coolant heater hose renew okay I'm going to add an oil change by clicking on our can job button selecting oil change and it brings in the oil and the filter okay and I'm done with the work order now so there are some extra features you should know about you if you know the part number you can enter it right here with either typing it or barcode scanning it if you turn on the quantity button it'll ask you how many so like if you have uh, brake pads and you're adding two at a time you can turn on the quantity and type in the number and it'll ask you the quantity and you can put in two uh, you can enter your special charges on the special tab you can revise estimates you can add a memo of what's what needs to be done on the uh, vehicle or what you've done you can add pictures if you want to add pictures to this. Okay, so now let's say I don't want to add pictures ever, and I don't want to add special features. I'm going to go ahead and save that work order. I can go to our setup, and I can turn off whatever I don't want to see. So I can turn off the picture tab, memo tab, revise estimate tab, special tab, and save that. I go back into my work order now and you can see all that's gone and the, the screen is a lot less cluttered because we don't have that we don't need it okay well in this uh, in this we also have a to-do list where you can check mark certain items for your mechanic to do save that and then when you get back to the main screen you can print the to-do list which you can take out to the mechanic and the to-do list will show the items that you want done so it's going to have check marks here on the items we checked and you can have the technician initial those when they're done plus any memos that we enter will be at the bottom of this ticket okay this is an extra invoice printing tab this is a profit report and this one allows you to change customers for the work order in case maybe a father or mother brought it in and it's for the son or daughter and so that's what those buttons are there uh, thank you for looking at our program. If you have any questions, give us a call at 1-800-457-7818. Thank you.